Hello everyone and welcome to our first uh, mobility and flexibility session. So today we're going to be looking at the um, legs. So we're just going to be doing flexibility and mobility work on, on your legs today. So what I'm going to get you to do is try to go through each exercise as you feel able to. If there's any that are causing pain, then obviously just ease off those. Um, but we'll just go through each exercise a few times so you get used to it. Um, if you're new to exercise, don't worry if you're not getting things straight away, it's going to take time and I may not explain myself completely um, clearly, so sometimes you might need to send me a message afterwards and just ask, what did you mean by this exercise? And then we can send you a short video just explaining the exercise that we were going through. Um, so just try to enjoy it, take your time and anything like I say that you're struggling with, then just ease off of. When you're doing stretches, it's not about forcing the stretch, it's about easing into it. So as we go, just take it nice and slow and yeah, just enjoy the mobility session. So what we're gonna do is start in a lunge position. So what you're gonna do is kneel down. You want a 90 degree angle at your front leg and a 90 degree angle at your back leg. And you're, we're gonna be stretching this hip. Okay, so I'm gonna do that side on for you now. So nice and tall, 90 degree angle on the front leg, 90 degree angle, maybe a little bit more because our toes are up, um, at the back leg. I don't want you to be pushing into the stretch. What I'm going to get you to do is just tilt your pelvis under. Quite difficult to do if you're not used to doing that movement, but by tilting the pelvis under, you're going to get a nice stretch in here. You don't need to be pushing your hip really far forwards. So what we'll do, we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. So tilt under and just hold that stretch there. And I'll just be keeping an eye on the clock for 30 seconds. If you're starting to feel any pain, then just ease off. You want to feel a stretch. It doesn't want to be painful. So as I say, you want to enjoy the session. You don't want it to, you don't want it to hurt all the time. So I'm feeling a nice stretch here. I'm not feeling pain. If you're not feeling a stretch, Tilt your pelvis under more, and then push a little bit further. Okay, good. Right, so let's change legs. So you're gonna place the other foot in front. Again, 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle on the back leg. Chest up, tilt the pelvis under. You should feel the stretch quite quickly. And then just gently lean forwards with your hips, push forward with your hips, keeping the pelvis tilted under and you should continue to feel that stretch in your pelvis, the front of your pelvis there, in the front of your hip. Okay, good. So hold that for another 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, brilliant. So next exercise is gonna be a hamstring stretch. So you're gonna be placing the lips from the lunge position, you're going to place one leg forwards. So depending on how flexible you are, that might be enough to get a stretch in your hamstring. If you're able to, you're going to place one hand on your thigh, one hand on your other thigh, and then tilt forwards, and that's going to start to stretch quite intensely down the back of your leg. If you're still not getting a stretch, then you're going to place your hands down to the floor, pulling your toes up. Holding that for 30 seconds. What people tend to do is they bend the knee. I'd rather you stay up tall and hold the stretch than bend down and your knee starts to bend forward. Keep it straight and then just lower yourself as you feel able to. Again, this can be quite difficult for a lot of people, so just go to the point which is good for you. Okay, so let's say that in around 30 seconds. Change your legs round. Place that heel down, again, the legs should be nice and straight. You're going to lean forwards, feel that stretch. Hand on your thighs if you need to, if you can, up to the ground. If you can as well, push your chest out if you're loving, that's going to increase the stretch a lot more. So when I push my chest out, I can't get as low. So I'll just stay here. Good. So we'll go for another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Okay, so from 
this position, we're going to go into a calf stretch. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your hips up into the air, place your weight on your back leg and cross the other foot behind. So you should start to put weight through your left heel. So we'll start on the left side. If you start on the right, don't worry. And you should feel that stretch all the way into your calf down here. Again, it can be quite intense, so just go back as far as you're able to. Some people are very flexible, we'll be able to get the heel down, some people will be up here. So it's just individual for you. Okay, good. So we're going to change sides. We're going to go to the other side now. Hold that for 30. And it's really important in stretching that you breathe as you're stretching because that helps relax your body. So deep breath in and out. And in and out. Good. Okay, well done. Okay, good work. Okay, so from this position, we're now going to go into a pigeon stretch. So this is going to be stretching your buttock and hip. So for this, what you're going to want to do is bring your left leg underneath your body. You're going to try and bring your ankle as high as you can in line with your knee. I will change position in a second so you can see. And then you're going to lay down over your knee as much as you can. Some people, you're not going to get there. You're probably going to hold it here if you're struggling. I can get down to here with some discomfort. Some people can lay flat over their leg completely. Um, so it really varies from person to person. You want to feel the stretch in here. So if I show you that in a different position. So you're now going to be bringing your leg across your body. So your knee wants to be central to your chest. Trying to bring this leg up a little bit higher is going to add to the stretch. Laying down over your knee, keeping the knee central to your chest, even facing your elbows down, laying with your arms out straight if you can, if not, just holding it here. Okay, so I've stretched that side quite a lot in two positions now, so we'll change legs. Okay, so first of all, get this middle of your chest. Bring this foot up a bit higher, so for me this side's tighter. So you may find one side is harder to stretch than the other. And then you're going to lay over your knee. So yeah, that's a lot harder for me on this side. Okay, nice deep breaths. Can be quite an intense stretch, so don't push too hard. Ease into it. Okay, so I'll show you side one again, just so you're getting an idea. That back leg wants to be out straight behind you and you're going to be laying down over the knee, feeling the stretch here. Okay, good. So I'm sure you guys have done that for a good 30 seconds now. Well done. So we've stretched a few areas of your body, the hamstring, the hip, we've stretched the calf and your buttock as well. So why don't we stretch your thigh muscle? So some people will struggle with balance if we were to do it in standing like this. So an equally good way is you're going to be laying down on your front, you're going to bring that leg up behind you and you're going to try and pull it towards your buttock. If you do struggle to get that far, then you might want to use a towel, wrap it round your ankle and then you can pull it with both hands and then that will pull that leg down into a stretch. If you can, get hold of the foot and ankle and then gently pull that down towards your butt. You can equally do this in standing. Again, nice deep breathing. So at the moment you're stretching your quad. Okay, good. Shake that one off. And then you're going to bring the other leg up, and then same again. So we'll go 30 seconds. So 
nice deep breathing. If you feel like it's quite easy, try and draw it into your bum a little bit more. Okay, 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Okay, we're now gonna do a groin stretch. So we're gonna stretch the insides of your thighs. So this is gonna, this is something I used to do at football. So it's quite common you see in foot, footballers do it. So you're gonna bring your feet together so the soles of your feet are touching. If you struggle to stay in this position, you might wanna sit up against the wall or sit up against a sofa. Hold on to your ankles and then gently push your knees down towards the floor with the elbows. And again, let's hold that for 30 seconds. Good work guys, 15 seconds to go. Okay, well done. Okay, good. So we're gonna do another hamstring stretch now. So it's ideal if you are sitting up against the uh, wall for this. So what you're gonna be doing, is reaching down towards your toes. What I don't want you to do, a bit like I said with the earlier exercise, I don't want you to be bending your knees. I want you to keep your legs straight, back straight, and then just run your hands down your legs as far as you can before your knees want to lift up. I've seen people can reach there this far. I've seen people that can go much further than their toes. So don't worry at what point you're starting at. The point is that you do this regularly and you're going to get better at it. So, hands on your knees, run your hands down your shins and go as far as you feel able to. Trying to keep your back straight, pushing your chest out. That's going to give you the best stretch, lifting your chest as you lean forwards. Okay, again, you really quite, can be quite intense so you don't have to push it to the extreme. Find the point at which you're happy with, hold that stretch pull your toes up and that'll add to the stretch a bit more. Okay, well done. Doing really well guys. So if you are new to this, don't worry, it's all going to be completely alien to you. So you just got to get used to what's going on, try the exercises out. You can re-watch the videos as well so that you can practice them a bit more. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just do a bit of an ankle stretch. So bring your leg so it's turned in. You're gonna hold the outside on top of your foot. You can place the other hand on the inside of your lower leg, and then just gently draw the foot up so you're stretching the outside of the ankle. Might be quite stiff if you've had previous injuries. So it's a good place to stretch if you are tight there. Again, we're holding each stretch for 30 seconds, but that's not the limit on stretching. You can stretch for 10 seconds up to two minutes or more. The longer you stretch for, the more likely you're gonna increase your flexibility. For the purpose of this session, I don't want to do too much um, of one exercise. We wanna try and work at every area of your body. If you find there's one area that is really tight, spend longer doing it and do it more often as well. So, we've done around 30 seconds on that side. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on the right now. So again, you should be feeling the stretch down the outside and front of the ankle. So you're getting your hand under your foot and the fingers should go across the top of your foot. Your other hand is going on the inside of your um, lower leg and then draw the foot up towards you and you'll get that stretch down into the ankle there. Okay, so we're going for another five seconds. Well done. Okay, so just 
roll your ankles a little bit now. So we're going to go for 10 in one direction. So if you just start in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, good. Do you want to grab a quick drink before we move on and do that? I'll just grab one myself. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to find that you're, you're stretching areas that maybe you haven't stretched before or you're finding areas that are really tight compared to others and they may be ones that you're going to focus stretching in the future. So we're going to go back to more of a hamstring and calf stretch now. Um, it's going to go, we're going to go into a downward dog, so it's a yoga position. Don't worry about remembering the names, it's purely just um, the, the term, one of the names of one of the exercises that we do. So you're going to go from a four point leading position and you're going to lift your hips up into the air. Okay, so in this position, you should feel a stretch all the way down the back of your legs. Okay, what I'm going to get you to do from here, try and push your chest forward so you're flattening your back. So you want to try and flatten your back here, and that's going to add to the stretch as well. And all I'm going to get you to do is just do some marching with your feet. So lifting your heels up, pushing the heel back, and you feel a stretch all the way down the back of your leg into your calf when you're pushing your heels back, okay? So let's go for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so last stretch we're gonna do is gonna be sitting down onto our heels. If you've not done this for a long time, it can be quite uncomfortable. So place your hands down onto the floor and then gently just sit back onto your heels. You might feel a lot of pressure within your knee, especially if you've had knee injuries or if you haven't done this uh, for a long time. People tend to stop doing this after they get out of their 20s maybe. So gently sit back onto your heels as you feel able to. You're going to feel it in your knees, but you also might feel it in your ankles as well because you're pushing your, so as I sit side on, your feet are as extended as they can be. So some people, if you're stiff in your ankles and you can't get this part of your foot down to the floor, you're going to feel quite a lot of tightness in the front of your ankle. So only go down as far as you're comfortable. So this is something that is quite tough if you don't do it very often, and just sit back, feel the tension, and just nice deep breaths. If you're getting too much, come back off, and just take the pressure off. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down one more time, we'll go for 30 seconds, and then we'll shake everything off, and then we can come to an end. Okay, so sitting back, if you can, sit back a little bit further than last time. If you can't, keep your hands here, and that'll take the pressure off your knees and ankles. I'm sure there's some of you that are sitting back with no problem and you're finding it really easy. So it just varies from person to person. Some people are super flexible, some people are just quite stiff, and that's just the way we're made. Um, so our lifestyle also can have an impact. So if you're quite sedentary, you're likely to be a little bit stiffer as well. But that's not for everybody. Okay, so ease out of that position. Might be a bit uncomfortable coming out of that position. And I'm just going to get you to stand up, to shake everything off. You can do some rolls of the ankles. 
rolls the ankles the other way. Bend the knees a few times if they're feeling a bit stiff. And then just shake the legs off. Okay, excellent. So that was your first mobility and flexibility session. Each week's gonna be a different body part, but we will revisit some stretches because they do impact more than one part of the body. These videos are gonna stay on the group for um, six weeks during the six week program, and you can access them as many times as you want. If you feel like there's certain exercises that are really benefiting you, then just find those exercises, repeat those ones, and get used to getting into a routine of doing it outside of our sessions as well. Um, if you have any questions about the session, leave a comment underneath, and then if we feel like it's something that we can um, put a video out for, then we'll do a separate video just about that question, and then that way you're gonna get your answer, and we can share that with the group as well. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you feel a little bit more limber in your lower legs, and we'll catch you for the next uh, strength um, session later this week. Thanks guys, see you later.